All right, well, it's a rainy day today, so I wanted to share with you a little bit on the van build on the inside. We talked about the motor, we talked about underneath, we talked about the no license plate, but hey, this is the inside. We golded it all out, blinged it up, we got the van for free, said all you got to do is get it running, you could have it. If you can get it running, you could have it. We got it running, now we got it. So I uh, kind of kept the cab a little bit the same, uh, ripped out all the, uh, well, you'll see. So this used to have a cup holder, big thing that kind of stuck out here. So I took it out and then we zip tied this little basket on there and made this cool thing. Uh, van's a little dirty right now, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you. We haven't been using it for a little bit, but uh, we're gonna make a little shoe rack here. We pulled off the panel here and I wanna make a shoe rack that fits inside this hole. You know, here's the trash bag that's gonna go out. Uh, ripped out all the carpet, all the flooring, all the benches, all the chairs. And now we got some padding here down for our floor. This is like our little kitchenette area, right? When it happens, um, here's my raincoat. Heck yeah, got a roller. Um, so really right now we just put baskets of food here and it works out really well. So uh, ripped off all the paneling inside, all the plastic. It was just gross and dirty and stuff. So. Um, you know, we want to maybe insulate this someday and, and make some nice things, but we're free van, free build, so we're just taking it easy. When we went up to um, Oregon in it, we picked up our old mattress, so we got our foam mattress back. It's pretty amazing. And I wanted to build it as light as possible, as lightweight as possible. So I picked up these free parts and I bolted it down. You can see the bolt back there. It's bolted down into one of the chair holders. And then I have screws coming up into here from underneath before I bolted this down so it would hold these. Little screws everywhere and a little bracket here on the sidewall. So I pulled apart the heater. This is a rear heater, which is pretty badass. Uh, there's some controls up here and in the front. Uh, it puts out a whole lot of heat here, so we're still working on building it. Um, looking at maybe building a shelf here and letting it disperse the heat underneath and in and in the shelf. Um, that's maybe the air conditioning. This is maybe the heater, or that's the air intake. This used to go up to the roof vent, so I think that's the AC and this is the heat. But I think it pulls in air there to blow the heat out here. It's really a, a smart system. Then it pulls the air here to blow, blow the cold out there. And it's all connected to the engine somehow through those little pipes down there. So got some crates, got some room. Uh, you can see some water in the van. I gotta get that caulking on a dry day, but it keeps raining, it's dripping through this light. And so the water's just raining in. So I got the mattress pulled back and uh, yeah, peeled off the panel. You got a nice little bed here, it was great. She'd be driving, I'd be laying down, resting. We pulled up to a, a rest stop and slept in it. And so the free van, van has a van build, but we're not really building out much of it right now. Just keeping it simple. Just wanted to simplify it and see what I had underneath to be able to hook this uh, this whole bed mount here. And the bed mount's pretty amazing because I made it so that our luggage could fit under there. So we could fit luggage and crates and things like that. That's the main thing to make some, some extra room in it. And... Uh, yeah, I took all the chairs out and the, the benches. And it could all be taken apart and put back in if need be. So, yeah. Mm, there's my lovely singing bowl. It's uh, There's not that much room in our trailer that we're staying in right now. But I got my singing bowl in there and the drum. We picked these up when we took our path up north. We left them, gave them to a friend up north in Oregon and they gave them back to us. Now that we have a place, it's really amazing. So we're staying here on the land and it's super amazing. The Thule River's right there and the rain just keeps coming down today all day long, which is really great because it's kind of a deserty area and it's kind of hot here in the summer. So pretty stoked that we uh, are here. And I'm stoked you're here too. Thank you for existing. Thank you for living. Thank you for being. Thank you for loving. Put that hand on your heart and shine that love out with your breath. <sighs> Breathe in and out of your heart chakra and shine that love back out. And thank you for being that love shine. You are love. Always have been. Always will be. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I love you so much. Thanks, Les.